This is a short video just to talk about thread lock or Loctite as it's sometimes talked about in the forums that I visit and just how you use it, where you use it and what different kinds are available. Um, this is the packet that I've had for oh, blimey, three years now and it's um, stood me in good stead. It comes in this particular version with two colours, blue and red. There are really four types that you tend to come across uh, when you're building a helicopter. The uh, the one that I've come across the least is purple. It, it tends to be used for very, very light applications. Uh, it, um, it's very easy to remove with a, with a cloth. And to be honest, you don't tend to use that very often. Blue is probably the most commonly used on remote control helicopters. It's a little bit tougher. It's kind of got normal hold strength. Um, you can remove it with a, a bit of elbow grease and a tissue, but also things like alcohol and stuff will take it off as well. Red is uh, a lot stronger in terms of the strength of the of the, the bond, and uh, you really need heat to remove it. The only place I use red on the entire helicopter is to hold in things like the grub screw for the motor pinion, um, but apart from that I, I don't use it very often at all. The last one you occasionally get in kits from a line is uh, green, uh, sometimes the bottle's called R48 and that tends to be used to do things like hold bearings in place. But if we just concentrate at the moment on blue, where do you use thread lock? You will only use thread lock on places where metal screws are going to be screwed into a metal component. So on this body here you can see that the um, uh, the bearing races for the main shaft are actually metal so if I'm going to screw into them I need to use thread lock. If you're screwing into plastic you don't need to use thread lock at all, in fact thread lock probably won't do you any favours. Um, and the way you use it is you don't actually need that much in it at all. The way I tend to use it is actually to put a little spot on top of the cap just like that and then on the end of the screw is just dip the very end of the screw that's going to go into the metal into it like that and then just wipe my finger round and what that does that coats the last five or six threads with thread lock now the reason that you do it that way is twofold really one it keeps everything nice and neat and secondly the way that you put parts together, particularly if you're going to put a screw through something like this which actually has a bearing in the middle, you don't want to get any of the thread lock in the, uh, in the bearing itself because that will actually bind it up. So, just put that in. So when you're using blue, um, Always make sure that uh, you don't put too much on. If you, if you see it coming out the top of the head or squeezing through the other side, just wipe it off with a tissue before it sets. The other thing to remember about this stuff is that it, it, it's essentially like a light plastic. And the way it actually works is it sets in absence of oxygen. So it, when you get your bo bottle for the first time, you'll notice that this only appears, I don't know if you can see that very well in the video, half full. And that's because the oxygen in the bottle the air stops it going off. It's only when the oxygen in the air is cut off that it actually starts to solidify. So in the threads in that screw that I've just put in here, what will start to happen now as the oxygen is removed, it'll start to set into um, a very light plasticky paste which will keep that screw in place. If you need to get a screw out that's loctited and you're struggling, Sometimes uh, you'll buy kits that have no Loctite on at all. I've also bought kits where they've gone bananas and they've used red Loctite on everything and you can't get the thing undone. Um, the key is to actually treat yourself to a proper one and a half millimeter driver like this. Allen keys, particularly cheap and cheerful Allen keys, will not give you a good enough fit to really hang off a screw and uh, and be able to unscrew it and break the, the the seal that the Loctite's made. The other thing to think about is that 
uh, if you're struggling to remove a screw it's sometimes a good idea to pop a soldering iron and just leave it resting against it let the part warm through and then try and remove it because that's saved my bacon a few times when I've been struggling to get something out I've ra nearly rounded the screw out completely with an allen key I treated myself to a pair of these uh, proper drivers bit of heat from a soldering iron and the screw came straight out so in summary there are four kinds of Loctite available there's purple which to be honest you probably won't use unless you have a very particular application there's blue which you'll use on pretty much everything on a T-Rex 450, 500 and potentially 600 as well it's the one that uh, you'll uh, get through the fastest there's red which to be honest I wouldn't use because it really makes things difficult to take apart again and um, there is the green which is just really for doing things like uh, with this bearing for example, although it's a press fit, when you're putting it together you can dribble a little bit of green in just to help keep it in place. To remove, you ideally need a good tool and you also need heat. And remember that you only need to use thread lock when it's metal to metal. If it's a metal screw going into a plastic part, then don't worry about it. Hope that helps.